G'day viewers, day two of our camp here at the Secret Lake Resort. Retreat. Retreat. Retreat Resort. Retreat. Uh, just outside of Lawrence. Uh, so it looks like we're about an hour for the end, but that's all right. Uh, that'll just take us for a little bit of a drive. So we just had a bit of a sh morning shower, which was fine. As so, in rain. Yeah, rain. <laughs> shower, rain, or sh shower, rain. Um, and now we're just going to go for a quick 14k uh, run uh, at a local track. Or maybe track. a 4k walk. Oh, 4k walk. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read it this morning, so I'm just oh. going to come in with me now and have a walk around. So, uh, so that's the campground you can see in the background. That's the lake. The so lake's massive. It's a hidden lake, apparently, mm. because we're secret. at a. It's a secret, a secret hidden lake. Yes. <laughs> It's huge. Yeah, it is. So anyway, that's the campsite there. So we'll uh, do our 14k run or, or 4k walk, as we <laughs> likes to call it, and then we'll come back and cook up some brekkie. Okay, out for now. Hello. <laughs> Just back from our 14 slash 4k hike slash walk. Well, thank God it was only 4k. My God, the <laughs> mozzies. I lost Marie three times. <laughs> Because I was, she was actually, in the air, yeah, she was, me away. she was carried away. Bloody hell! Yeah. I've never seen mozzies so bad. And we had the, we gave away the aero guard and the new Bushmans. Yeah, it must, it must be old because it's just not working. It. It's oh just not working. God. So we'll pick up some um, um, new stuff today. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll see what they've got in Agent Orange as well. Yeah, I was just going to say the most carcinogenic we can yeah. find. The oh Yanks seem to use it, so they, they attest to it, so we'll give it a go. Oh, God, we need something. It's Holy pretty God. bad. Nice walk, nice Beautiful walk, walk, but mozzies galore, so yeah. be prepared for that, kiddies. Yeah. Okay. Bring your Agent Orange. Out for now. Are you ready? How you going, viewers? Just arrived here. <laughs> Secret Lake Retreat. Secret Lake Retreat. So we have off the highway. Three miles down. It's about 30 days out of the way. Just think it's out. We have a front view of these. Now they're the screw in tent peg set. Now just to be clear, we're not sponsored by Oz Trail. Not that I'm happy to be, but we're not. <laughs> these were a. Christmas, Christmas gift. gift from a very special man called Tyler Moss and the family and the family um, and Tyler and I work at one of the major outdoor camping places what you mean like Anaconda, Anaconda like Anaconda <laughs> yeah but I didn't want to mention Anaconda because we're not sponsored by Anaconda oh no but, but it could I'm, be something like that but I'd be happy to anyway <laughs> these are a game changer guys I've got them in our awning six in the awning and also in the tent so, in this particular set, I've got 15 screws. Okay, so here's what a screw looks like. Okay. Okay. Um, and you do get the, the bit with it as well. Okay, for your drill. Okay. Don't forget your drill. Don't forget, don't forget the drill. <laughs> so, yeah, very happy with these. And in fact, when I get back... I just put my finger across the yeah, lens when I get again. Back, there could be a second box of these um, acquired. Or maybe you could wait for your birthday. Well, maybe, but I might need them for that. Could do. You will. For our family Australia Day camp with all the fam. Yeah, but that's before my birthday. That's what I mean. You will need them before. So, yeah, very good, guys. Very good. So, do yourself a favour. Yes, I've banged in enough pegs to make a make everyone go deaf but I'll tell you what these are good um, and getting and them out this morning was well, amazing I was just gonna say oh. <laughs> the other thing is getting pegs out it's easy to get a peg in it's harder to get a peg out so getting the peg out is fantastic so uh, go get yourself a set do yourself a favor and uh, don't forget thanks Mr. Tolomos Okay, and family. And family. <laughs> Amazing shower block. Wow. 
Then we've got toilets. Another joint shower toilet. Good grief. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Pretty flash. And here we are on another ferry. Where are we going? Well, we're heading from our campsite to Yamba and we're crossing the Clarence River. On the... Um, on the Lawrence side of the river. I think it's a bluff, the Bluff Point Ferry, I bluff think Point it is. Ferry. And it's free. It, it just... is free. It only takes you halfway across though and then you've got to pay for the other half. <laughs> oh God. I thought you were going to say swim. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, one of those cable ferries that were on the other day, free, free for all. Out for now. Out for now, viewers. So looking down on the main street of Yamba, we were pleasantly surprised. Not everyone's found it and you can actually get parks. A few people around, don't get me wrong, but well worth a visit. Some new restaurants and stuff. And the classic Yamba cinema is still here. We didn't get to go at the moment, but well worth a visit, the old style seats, legendary. And we've been to the Nook in Yamba, which is full of secondhand books. Great store. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go, go find some beach and lunch. We've come up beside the Calypso Caravan Park, which was there when we've been here 20 years ago along the river so we'll walk along the river and now to the wall for a look there's a the caravan park full not sure if you can see but the river is actually full of these huge jellyfish wow I haven't seen them in the river like this before. There's a heap of them. Mm. Look at them go. There's Whiting Beach. And look at all those purple cabanas. Looking for more. And this is Whiting Beach. And oh look, cool cabanas. Nothing like the Noosa Beach, um, but Whiting Beach. And we're heading out <laughs> to the rock wall. The wall. Mm. But yeah, plenty of people around, but nothing like the Shamozzle at Nelson Bay, that's for certain. Out for now. We're coming out to the wall. Not sure if you can hear me because the wind is full on. This is Turner's Beach. Not many on this beach because we're getting whipped by the sand up here on the wall, so it wouldn't be pleasant there. A lot more over here on the protected side of the Whiting's Beach where we just passed a moment ago. So, yeah, not that pleasant on the beach and then over the other side of the wall the breakwater it's being whipped up as well and over there is Iluka 
another holiday destination but not the most pleasant on the beach today over and out we made it we're out the end and it's windy and time to head back in now what is it i always say over and out but out for now we're having lunch at the Wobbly Chook Brewing Company in Yamba. Definitely not here before and I'm going to try a tasting paddle. G'day viewers, we're still at Yamba. We're here at the Wobbly Chook Brewing Company, Brewing company. and for someone lunch. for lunch and someone's decided to have a, a paddle. Tasting paddle. Have a paddle. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna film Marie drinking them all. Well maybe not. Maybe that might not. take a while. Okay, back soon viewers. <laughs> so two two minutes later folks. <laughs> maybe mate, five. Scold them down. <laughs> mate, and this is the third one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well it might be the fourth. <laughs> So at the Wobbly Jook, I'm having their Thai prawn salad, which looks amazing. And what are you having? Oh, hold on, I can't see you. Oop, what are you having? The soup. Soup? Looks like a snitty. He's having the snitty burger and chips, which I've eaten half of, because I didn't order my own, of course. And now I'm into the prawn salad. So here we are, guys. This is in Gary. South of Yamba. So we used to come here a long time ago when the boys were young, or even before the boys, I suppose. And there's a swimming pool which we'll show you, but this is on the, on the coast, obviously. So you can see a bit of a, a swimming area here with the waves breaking over and spilling into the, I suppose, the rock pool. So probably just past high tide, so. This is the other lagoon, just in from the beach, only about 20 metres. So you can see up the top there, which is where you dive off. There you go. If you're going. Alright, all just up from the blue pool, guys, is the green pool. No one jumping off the top. I dare say it's a fair climb back up. There you go. At the secret link retreat, all quiet early in the morning. There's the amenities, super good. Free hot water, plenty of room. There we are all by ourselves. Volleyball court, haven't seen it used. Massive lake down there, which I'm sure A really good camp kitchen too. Some communal fire pits. Everything here that you need. It also has these four outdoor showers, cold water, but after you come up from the lake, good to rinse off or just when it's super hot. The lake is massive. All the um, water toys, I don't know what you call them, um, kayaks and things are provided free. And I just can't get in the hole 
lake. There's pontoons to swim off. No fishing in this area, but you can fish. Just not here. Still goes up and beyond the paddleboard around there. And there's water toys scattered all around, free to use. Plenty of camping as you can see, plenty of room to swim obviously. And just down here is Turtle Beach. Hundreds of turtles in here. Let's see if we can see some. You can feed them. They lay eggs. Let's see if we can see some. And here they are coming for food. So many. allowed to come down and feed them. No bread or anything else. Michael and I thought we might go for a kayak later and I'll take you over to see the kids play area and berry garden. It's a great family park. Another outdoor shower after coming up out of the lake. Cool swim. Cool mud kitchen for the kids. What a great idea that is. Hey, kids would love it. I'd love it. I wouldn't have to practice my cooking skills. Another communal fire pit. There's plenty of them around. Also, you can have your own fire pit and there's little individual fire pits. And there's this cool course for the kids to do. I'm not game in case I do an injury. But good fun for the kids. It's amazing what they've done. Looks fun. And then when you walk up here, at the end of this, is this cool little fairy garden where you can go exploring see all the different fairy homes that are scattered throughout it's pretty cool i gone to a lot of trouble and the lady at the reception when we came in the owner Oh well, we're assuming the owner. Very friendly. Hello, Tree. Uh, very welcoming. Definitely recommend this place. Especially for families, but even if not families, we're here in the middle of Christmas holidays. Not doubt at all, there's still plenty of room. Probably because it's just, it's at Lawrence, so it's about an hour inland from Yamba or McLean area so you can either come park up stay the whole time or like we did we sort of based ourselves here and then went exploring so up to you come and enjoy the park walk around plenty to do here with the water the kids can be entertained you can have your fire or you can go into Yamba, Aluga, Florence, McLean, have a look around. Great place. Recommend it. And we even have Koala. Koala there. Haven't seen any real ones yet. There's plenty of walking tracks to go on. All different um, lengths. The highest is for kilometers in length or the longest rather not the highest but be warned the mozzies will carry you away uh, but have your spray your agent orange we went and got some more yesterday and then um yeah get out there have fun enjoy it it's been good also the caravans 
We've got the dunk point here in the park, so easily accessible. We don't need it, but many do. Okay, heading back for my cup of tea. One final look at the park. And it is plenty of room. Out for now. How are you going, viewers? Oh, well, I'm trying to get the pinnacle in the background. Oh, yeah, yes. see, there's the pinnacle in the background. <laughs> so we're up at the McLean uh, lookout. Uh, we did do some videoing at the top. For some reason, it didn't work on my phone, so we're redoing it now. So that's the pinnacles in the background. There's some sort of rock formation there that has... A natural rock formation, sandstone over silt. Yeah, there you go. That's what I said. Cultural significant to the local Aboriginal people. Yes, yes. And um, yeah, so there it is. There's back of Marie's head. Oh, there you go. That's the front. Okay, so we're up here at the lighthouse. Uh, not the lighthouse. The, uh, the lookout. So uh, get up and have a look at some stage, and um, we'll have a little bit more of a look around town. But um, yeah, this is McLean on the river. Okay, out for now. This is one of the oldest grocery stores in Australia since 1883. In McLean. Obviously done up a few times in that uh, era. So we've called into the information centre and we've got the McLean Walking and Cycling Heritage Trail. So we're checking out some of those. We've got a little map, walk around the town. Um, so yeah, you see all the buildings. Number 16 there is the courthouse, the last one. So you can see that over here behind us. We might just wait for a minute because we've got someone walking by. They talk about your tartan so poles. We do have these tartan on the poles though. And there's over 200 um, Scottish names apparently represented by their tartans. So as you drive in, you see all the electricity poles and all the different colored tartans and the names. So quite good. And then here's the courthouse, which was number 16 on the walking trail. So we're not going to show you everyone. Obviously, you can go get your walking trail, but call into the information centre because there's different walking trails, different heritage things you can do, places to eat. The guy there was really helpful. Bob. Um, Bob. We don't know his name. Oh, he had a tag on. Oh, it was did you read Bob. it? Oh, you're good. Oh, I was terrible. Oh. Okay, I didn't even check it out. But we're off to find somewhere for lunch, have a look around. So come and check it out. Not sure if you can hear me because it's quite windy. We don't have a dead cat. But yeah, we don't have a dead cat. But these are the poles that have been put up to commemorate 100 years of the Scottish Highland Gathering here at Maclean. The chiefs from 1894 and their tartan through to. Uh, 1996, 2000, through to 2000. The tartan poles, and over here is the commemorative khan. A few clouds gathering in the sky. So a Scottish khan, and then down the bottom. my finger in the way again need to practice that I'll practice removing it one or the other and that's pretty much we've seen McLean now There's the poles in the distance. so we're going to head off so out for now this is where we had lunch Botero the coffee roasting place Oh god, my fingers again. Ah, uh, there it is, Botero. And it was well worth going to. They roast their own coffees, very busy, and lunch was good. Recommend it. G'day, viewers. 
I can't hold it steady. Oh yes, hold on. Why don't I stop the car, eh? Anyone behind us? Uh, I think you can't tell. <laughs> That'll be fine. G'day viewers, listen we're just finishing up our camp here at the, where are we? Secret Lake Retreat. Secret Lake Retreat. We could tell at you where Lawrence. it is. But, well, it was a secret. Oh. No, you know, it's at Lawrence. <laughs> anyway, very good camp, very good facilities, great lake. Uh, went for a paddle, um, refill out the boat a couple of times. <laughs> I didn't fall out, but I couldn't you get couldn't out. You couldn't get out. I entertained the people on the foreshore yes, anyway. Yes, yes, there was applause. <laughs> there was applause as she was getting out, so yes. But no, oh, good camp spot. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Certainly come and check it out. So um, it's about, oh, about 30 minutes out of McLean, I suppose, um, just on the Pacific Highway heading south. And a good family one. Good family one, um, except for certain family, but a good family <laughs> one. The only issue we had really was the mozzies. Mossies. Yeah. Yes, bring a hazmat suit. <laughs> Mossies weren't good, but we don't know if because it has just been raining and there's mm, been mm. where we were camped, we were kind of near the bush, so. And our air guard was 15 years old. <laughs> that could have had something to do with it. Yes, you, you, you put it on and it attracted them. <laughs> they bathed in it. Yeah, they bathed in it. They're, they're doing backstroke <laughs> on our legs. Yes. But anyway, you know, it was a good camp, so we're off home now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, we look we'll forward get to the next one. Planning the next one. Oh, it's already planned. We're in. <laughs> okay, now for now, viewers. <laughs>